Aloha folks, welcome back to another video. My name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. Today I'm excited to bring you a company that I really like. I think it has a lot of potential, but it also has some risk. So um, sit back, enjoy the video. Um, don't forget to give me a like, it really does help the channel grow. Uh, if you are new to investing and want to learn about what companies uh, to invest on um, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button also do me a favor and hit that like button um, I do a lot of these companies uh, that have great dividends great growth stocks um, these are companies that I personally invest on or put in my watch list to invest later down the line so if the that's the kind of thing you like and you want to learn about different uh, types of companies so definitely hit that subscribe button and join me into uh, in your journey to making money. As always, please remember this is not a financial advice. This is just my opinion, um, sharing you my thoughts, what I look at, what how I look at things. With that said, let's take a look at this company, uh, G1 Therapeutics. Therapeutics. The ticker symbol is G T H X. So. This is a company that engages in development of treatments of patients with cancers. So their mission is to deliver, develop, uh, innovative therapies to improve the lives of those affected with cancer. So um, they have uh, three pipelines that they currently are developing. So I'm not going to say it. I don't want to butcher it. But this one right here that they have... Um, they are in prior review on February 15, 2021. So that is pretty much on that stage where they're going to review it. Uh, the rest of it are still in the early stages. As you can see, they have things that are working on, uh, again, with cancer. Um, so now, one of the things that caught my attention was a billionaire name um easy uh Angerlin, who is a legend uh in the uh investing world because at, at the time that he was a high schooler he was trading already uh he founded this co a hedge fund called millennium management and because of his success wall street really pays attention to his moves and one of the things that caught uh, a lot of people's attention was that in quarter three, Angerlin and the, and his hedge fund Millennium picked up new stakes at uh, G1 Therapeutics, and they bought about 555,000 shares, valuing to about 6,421. So, um, very interesting. Um, so this is something to kind of just put. Uh, on, on the watch now if we go through Yahoo Finance year to date you can see it's been kind of up and down but if you look at the bottom the volume has been slowly increasing uh, market cap is about 707 million so it is a small cap now if we look at the there's no PE ratio <clears throat> 52 week range the high is 31 the low is 8 at the time of this video, um, it, it is eighteen dollars and sixty cents. It was up about a dollar, uh, one percent. If you look at the performance outlook, it is a bull. Now going through the earnings, they did miss it by quarter three. However, you can see they have two beats and one met. Financials, revenue, um, they're still not making revenue. Earnings is going the other direction. So again, that's something to kind of think as you decide if this is something for you if you look at the the trends you can see mixture of buy and strong buy for the couple months um, strong buy and buy again is the rating it is below the average target price of 50 now if we look further to uh, market watch you can see the balance sheet so if we look at the balance sheet going down further we are looking at total assets 
currently is 284. Now if we go down more towards the liabilities, so if we go to right here, total liabilities, it as it is 29, 29 right there. Um, so now let's take a look at CNN Business, uh, their forecast. So right now, currently it's at $18, but their price forecast is in the high 82, um, medium 51, and the low 21 with the analysis recommendation. So there are seven of them that rated as a buy, one outperforming. Again, um, if you decide to, uh, to invest in this company, uh, on the reporting period is March 4, so put that in your calendar as well. Now, if we look at other sources, tip ranks, uh, analysis price target is 59 with 217 <clears throat> upside. Now, if we look at past 12 months forecast, again, 82 is the high, 59 is the average, 21 is the low, so pretty much almost the same. Now, if we also look at NASDAQ, they rated as also a strong buy, about six analysis rated as a buy, and these are the firms that uh, made that recommendation. Their analysis price target is also 59. Now, looking also at bar chart, you can see that it is a strong buy, currently a strong buy with six analysis. For the past three months, it's been a strong buy, Two months it's been a strong buy so um so we, if we look down currently five strong buys one moderate buy so now if we look at robin hood if you look at the analysis rating 100 percent in the analysis rated also as a buy we look down further to uh, the analysis ratings so there's eight of them that rated as a 100% buy. So now if we look at the performance, as you can see today at the time of this video, it was up 1% with after hours of 2%. Now for a week, it's up almost 40%. For the month, it's up 67%. Three months, it's up 25%. The year, it's down 11%. Uh, for the five years, it's up 26%. So I did buy uh, two shares, you know, uh, at $17. I am already up 10%. I do plan on buying more, um, waiting for um, probably see how much. Um, my goal is to probably get about 50 to about 75 um, see how far this thing will go. Hopefully it reaches that target price. Then I could probably sell some of those uh, and then keep the rest. Um, hopefully you like this video. Uh, definitely uh, hit, hit the like button as well. Um, as always, um, again, uh, do your due diligence and, and do research. And always remember, stay cool. Be safe out there, guys, and keep investing. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Aloha.